Gardens are exploding with zucchini this time of year, and sometimes we get so busy grating it up and stirring it into quick breads and cookies and muffins that we forget it has a lot of nutritional benefits that make it worthwhile to incorporate into our daily meals. And I'll show you some, it's kind of a technique that I use that helps get the moisture out of zucchini so I can use it in lots of different ways in my menus. Well, first of all, I've washed the zucchini. It's about a one pound zucchini. I've washed it and I'm going to start by cutting away both ends and then I'll cut it in half just to make it a little more, a little easier to handle and I'll cut it right through the middle lengthwise. Check the seeds and because this zucchini is a little bit bigger on this end, I'm just going to use a grapefruit spoon works right. You can use a teaspoon too, just to pull out some of those seeds that might be a little bit tough. And then I pulled out my box grater. And if you have a food processor, you can certainly use the grating blade on your food processor. But just take these zucchini halves, the, the large, the side with the large holes, and grate the zucchini up. It's easy to do. It doesn't take very long. And as I grate it, I put it into a colander set over a bowl. And for every pound of zucchini, I mix it with one teaspoon of salt, just regular table salt. And I let it sit and drain over a bowl because remember, salt pulls moisture out. So as it pulls the moisture out, it drips into the bowl. And this has probably been sitting here for about 15 to 20 minutes, which is plenty of time. So before I use it, I take the zucchini, just a small handful, and squeeze the juice into the bowl. And after I've squeezed a lot of that juice out, I set it on a plate covered with a paper towel just so a little bit more of that moisture comes out. Now we're not gonna get all the moisture out. It's still going to be damp and that's okay. But for what I like to use this for, it's okay if it has a little bit of moisture, but look at how much juice we're getting out. Now, the juice that comes from the zucchini, don't throw it out because you can stir this into soups and sauces. I like to add it to rice when I'm cooking rice. I use it as part of the liquid. So once I have this on my towel, I pat it a little bit. And at this point, it's dry enough to stir into a quiche. You can use it as pasta like this with your favorite tomato sauce over it. But it's a great way to take advantage of the vitamin A, the fiber, the vitamin C, and the potassium that's in that zucchini. I'm Sue Doden, sharing good food for good life 365.